Hey, it's your boy, 2A Monte, coming at you with another Fionz review. Fight, fight, fight. Let's get it. Ah. Yo, hey, what's going on? I do want y'all to know I am armed right now. Uh, I just want to show y'all how easy it is to conceal a Fionz. Well, today, I'm going to do a review on the Springfield Hellcat, you know, 9 mil. Just to show y'all how easy it is to conceal a firearm. Alright, y'all check this out. So, now I'm going to show you a breakdown on how you break down the Springfield Hellcat. You always want to make sure your firearm is uh, completely empty, right? You don't want it, no round in the chamber, right? So... As you can see, it's empty. So, what I'm going to do, I just showed y'all that, but if you look here, you see this? You want the groove that's right there. You want that over this, right? So, I'm going to show you. And you lock it in place like this, right? That's what you want, right, when taking it down. So, after you've done that, right? Once you've locked it to the rear, right here, then what you do, you lift your disassembly lever, right? So, and you push that up, right, in an upward motion, just like this, right? Now, when you do that, you then drive your charger handle forward, right? So, if you look here, if you look at you see that sticking out, out back? If you see that, then you've done it correctly. So, now once you've done that, you will then you ensure that your firearm has no rounds in the chamber or no magazine in the firearm. Then you will pull the trigger. See, as you see, it moved forward, right? So, at that point, you can just slide off your handle and as you can see you break it down now in here right you have your spring you will push this down and up and it will come out as you can see right here is my barrel right so here is my barrel you push down and bring up right this is how you clean it uh, if you've gone to the range or you want to oil your firearm, you know, clean it up a little bit. This is how you break it down. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the assembly. This is when you put it back together, right? So, the first thing you want to do is grab your the top part of your firearm, right? Um, then, you grab your barrel. And what you're going to do when you insert the barrel, you're just pretty much inserting it in kind of letting it drop down in and then you pushing it forward right and it clicks into place right then after you do that you then grab your spring recoil spring again all right and you put it in here and then you push it in and it okay it catches on the front lip as you can see right so once you do that, then you get your the bottom half of your firearm, right? Now, all you're doing is lining up. You see those grooves? All you're doing is lining them up with your rails. You see? The same rails. So, right? Line them up with the actual rails. And you charge it to the back. Right? When you do that, lock it in place again, right? You see? You have it locked in place. Close down. This was standing up. Now you have it pushed down. Right? Now you send it home. Done. And what that means is you can either pull it like this to cock it. Or you could use your lever here. Just pull that down like that and it'll bring it forward anyway. 
Um, and once you do that, to check that it's, you know, functioning properly, you can then do a functions check. That's how you know. You know, that click, that's what you're looking for. Cock it back, you're ready to go. That's how you break down your Springfield Hellcat. So, you do this. Um, my opinion, right? I think this is a very, very, very reliable uh, firearm. Um, I love it. I, I actually carry this more. Um, I've probably been carrying this about a year now. Um, very reliable. Very, very easy to conceal. Um, it comes with two mags. So, uh, one is a flush mag, which holds about 11 rounds plus one. Um, and then the other one holds 13 plus one. You know, so that that's a lot of ammo inside of a, you know, small firearm such as this, right? Um, if you've ever seen the Glock 43, um, it's actually roughly about the same size. Um, so, I, I mean, what else can I say, man? Like, you can, you can literally have this on when you're dressed up. You know, your shirt doesn't have to be extremely baggy. Um, any of that, man. So, I'm going to give y'all a few specs on this, right? So, first is strike of fire, right? Um, the barrel is three inches long, six inches in length, right? It's uh, 4.12 inches in height. Uh, the width is .88. Um, your standard weight with, with the flush mags is 18.3 ounces, and with the extended mag, it's about 18.6 ounces. Not bad weight-wise. Um, another thing as well with this for me, um, it's not a lot of recoil. So, um, I've been to the range several times, uh, firing this weapon, you know, because I thought since it was so small that it would have a lot of kick, but it, it really doesn't. So I, I've got a lot of questions. Um, what would be a nice first time buyer, uh, firearm for someone who's just starting out? that, uh, you know, they don't really know, you know, a lot, of, for the most part, everybody know about Glocks, you know, that's like the main thing you hear a lot about, um, but this is a very, very good firearm that you can get, and with the amount of rounds, this is only my opinion, this personal preference, um, I'm, I have to have at least, minimum 10 rounds, at the least, in any firearm that I carry, on my as my EDC, you know, um, which is everyday carry for those who may not know. Um, so I highly recommend this per this firearm here. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're male, female. It it doesn't matter. Like literally, your hands. You know, my hands are pretty, pretty good size. You know, and I actually get a full grip on the firearm. You know, so it, it's. You know, I, I can't complain about it. What else? Uh, if if you have any questions, you know, uh, concerning any type of firearm um, such as this, you know, leave a comment. You know, like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, because it's your boy to a month. Take.